we are only as good a people, as good a person, and as modest a person as what we are when we are by ourselves. If you hear children screaming, they're not being killed, they're just alone next door, okay? Um, because it's not something that we do for other people. It's a, it's a way of life. It's something that we choose to take on as a way of life, not something we do to avert the eyes of man necessarily. This is something we choose as a way of life. Um, so I want to, uh, to talk about a few of these aspects that does not necessarily have to do with our shirts and our skirts, yes? but more to do with other aspects of our lives and how we conduct ourselves there. Um, so the first one I want to talk about, and please, because you have to talk to me, otherwise this class is only going to be 20 minutes long, yeah? We have to talk to each other. I'm relying on you to ask me the questions that you want to ask today. Um, that we, that this concept of modesty or it's new or whatever you wish to call it that makes it comfortable for you. Um, as I just said, it filtrates everywhere. And one of these places that it touches is eating. Um, it, it determines what we eat, how much of it we eat, and how we eat. Right? If, we, if you sit down at a restaurant or somewhere, or especially at someone else's table, and your plate is stacked to here, and uh, you know, and stuff like this. That is not the way. <laughs> it's definitely not the way. It's okay to like eating, and it's okay to like a lot of food. I'm not saying that you should, you know, starve yourself if you're hungry. So God forbid. Just try to try to understand what I'm trying to say. Is the, the whole concept of it, the whole concept of Judaism in general, but also in this area, is to bear Hashem in mind in everything that we are doing. To draw down holiness into everything that we are doing. To draw down a spiritual element even into the bit of basil that you put on your pasta. Yeah? Everything. Um, so when we sit down to to eat something, whether we're alone or with someone, to bear in mind that we are A, doing this as a Jew, and B, doing this as someone who took on the mitzvah of Tzniyot. So how are we going to do it? We're going to do it in a more this way. We enjoy our food, double of bracha, but we're going to sit down and we are going to take a moderate portion of food and we will chew with our mouth closed and, and make a bracha and so on and so forth in order to remind ourselves and to show Hashem that we take this on as a serious mitzvah. Um, now you, you may or may not think that the concept is ridiculous, but it really isn't because a person's demeanor and the way you carry yourself and the way you carry everything determines um, or shows Hashem and shows the world who and what you are. And as I always say, remember that in a lot of situations where you will find yourself in life, especially outside of the land of Israel, yeah, in Israel it's a different story, but outside of the land of Israel, you will most likely sometimes be the only Jewish person that someone might ever meet. So you set the standard, you set the bar, what people will think about Jews. If you are alone somewhere and you are talking to someone and they find out you're a Jew, whatever you do and say there 
is representative of the entire Jewish world. Because you might be the only Jew they ever meet. You might be the only element of Hashem that someone ever sees throughout their whole life. And whether, whether it's fair or not, people are judgmental. They are. So they will. They, and they generalize a lot. So if you do something, people will say, well, I once met, met this Jewish girl and she did X, Y, Z. Or she looked like this. Or she ate like that. Or she did this. Or she did that. Right? And you, it's very good to, to say, well, I don't care what people think about me. Okay, Tobel of Bracha. But you should care about what the rest of the world cares about our people and thinks about Hashem. And quite often that depends on us.